Hi, I'm Gary from Y3K Europe Limited. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the XIQ CMS software and how to add your devices and how to use it. So, first thing you need to do is download the software. So, if you go to support.y3k.com, uh, as you'll see here, go to Knowledge Base, click on CMS Remote Software. On the right hand side you'll see all the software, so you'll see XIQ CMS software for PC and XIQ CMS software for Mac. So I'm going to download the XIQ software for PC users. Click the download link. And then you'll see this page, click on the download button, you've got one here and you've got one at the top. So save this file onto your PC and once it's saved you'll then need to install it. Okay so once it's downloaded we'll open the file and you'll be prompted to confirm the installation of the program. Uh, just click next through this, you can change the directory if you want, or just leave it as <coughs> the computer sees fit. And once it's finished, you'll see the option to launch the XIQ CMS software. Okay, so now the software is up and running, you'll be prompted with the wizard screen. So this is to uh, quickly add the devices. So if you click the next button, right, you'll see two options here, add device or add online device. If the recorder is not on site in the same location as the computer you're using, click add device and manually enter the device details. So the device name can be whatever you want to name the device, the IP or ID. So in there you would put the P2P ID code, which is found on the lid of the recorder or under the information section in the recorder's menu. The media port will be 9000, uh, and then the username and the password of the recorder. The other way to add the recorder, if it's on the same network, as your computer, like mine is here, click Add Online Device. So this will now scan the network, and as you can see there, it's found three devices, a 16-channel recorder, uh, a 10-channel recorder, and a single camera. So I'm gonna add the 10-channel DVR. So it'll auto fill in the IP address, the P2P ID, the port number, uh, and all the relevant information. So then click Add Selected Device. Now, name the device, so I'm going to name mine IQR5000 because it's a DVR. The username as a default is admin and the password that you created on the recorder when you first turned it on. Okay, so once it's found the device, you'll see it appear here. Um, and then you need to click Import All. That will import it into the default group. And then click Next. And that's the wizard complete. So now on the software itself, if you go to Main View, click on Default Group, you then see the recorder. So click on the little arrow next to it. And then that will drop down the channels that there. You can drag one channel in at a time. or you can right click on the recorder and open all channels and it'll open all channels on the recorder. I've only got one camera connected to mine at the moment. So that's how you add the device. Right, if you want to make any changes to the device, there's two ways of doing that. 
you can either right click on the recorder here and go to remote configuration and this will take you into the setup of the recorder or in the group device page if you hover the mouse over the device you can click the spanner there again for the remote configuration and then from here you can change settings within the recorder which are allowed. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.